It's quite late and I'm very, very tired. So this is going to be quite a quick video. But tonight is my first night in my new place and it's hit me pretty hard. I don't quite know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this apparently. And I've thought about it a lot. I think a few things have sort of come into play. I've spent two weeks in Spain with my cats and then I came back for not even a day and went down to Kent to cat sit for the cat that my cousins took on. So I've spent about 10 days with her since then and that's the longest I've seen her. I've not seen her since Christmas um, and it's the longest I've spent with her since she's been in England. So that was really nice. It was lovely to see her and sort of spend all that time with her and she didn't ignore me either which was quite nice but I really didn't want to leave Kent they even let me stay an extra day because I asked if I could stay a day longer which was kind of them as much as I didn't want to I left her today and it's not like she's not happy down there she's very content down there they spoil her rotten so she's more than happy down there but it's just me I didn't want to leave her because I still think of her as my cat and she's technically not but, like I said, I got to spend time with her and that was nice. I think it's been leading up to today, but so far I've just ignored it because I've sort of had distractions. I've been in Spain and I've been in Kent and I've not really had to think about it. Don't get me wrong, I've had more than enough to think about, but it doesn't mean that I do. So I've kind of put off sort of thinking about it, even though I knew it was happening. And then all of a sudden today is just here and it's my first sort of step to settling down before I go back to uni which is weird it's so strange that it's finally sort of happening and I'm not as planned for it as I thought I would be even though I've had plenty of time to think about things it's not all gone my way so I'm a bit stressed out about things but I'm here now so that's a start the place looks very bare it's just got all my possessions sort of scattered around the place. I've unpacked a few things. I've learnt that I own more than enough mugs that I probably don't need but I also probably won't get rid of anytime soon because I like mugs, I like tea. So they're just going to sit in a cupboard for ages. My friend came round this afternoon as well which was nice because well one she's bought me an air bed which is currently what I'm on because I won't be getting a bed for a while because I've got other priorities to sort of buy things beforehand. So she's bought me an air bed, which was lovely of her because it gives me something to sleep on. But it was also nice to see her because before she got here, I was sort of just wandering around the place trying to keep myself busy because I wasn't happy here. This morning was strange because I was in Kent and I sort of had to act normal around my cousin because I didn't really want them to ask, oh, what's wrong? Because nothing was really wrong. I was just a bit apprehensive, which I'm allowed to be. I just wasn't really expecting it so it sounds silly. I had a bit of a moment earlier so I'm hoping that's it now. It's just scary that it's actually all sort of starting and that everything will hopefully start falling into place and it's mainly scary that I'm becoming an adult. I mean who the hell let me become one of them because I certainly don't feel ready for it. If I could I'd go back to my childhood without a second thought just everything is so much simpler when you're a kid and it sort of goes back to Peter Pan and that all of us sort of believe or hope that we're going to be the one that you know never has to grow up or can get whisked off to Neverland and just stay young and sort of carefree forever but none of us are exempt from time so we just sort of have to go with it and that's sort of what I'm dealing with right now that I am growing up and there's nothing I can do about it but that doesn't make it any less scary than how I feel at the moment and I'm hoping that tomorrow because it's a new day and I'll have already been here slightly will be better which I reckon it will. I know how my brain works so I'm hoping that it's going to be that way but for now this is me and I felt like I wanted to say something about it, mainly because I'm hoping that when I do feel better I can look back at it or maybe in like a couple of years time when I am settled and sort of go, oh look at who you were and how worried you were. I think that'll be nice, even if it doesn't feel nice right now, but hopefully future me will appreciate it a bit more. But I think I've spoken for long enough, so I am now going to go to sleep. 
because it's late and I'm tired. So, night guys. <laughs>